So let's do a simple demonstration of the split brain experiment. So let's start by making the point where these two chairs meet our central point of vision. So anything to the left of this point is of course our left visual field and anything to the right of this point is our right visual field. So with this in mind, the pink car is being projected to our left visual field that will be processed in our right hemisphere and the Easter Bunny that's in our right visual field that will be processed in our left verbal hemisphere. So let's just pretend that we had a tachoscope and we briefly flashed images of these two objects to a split brain patient's left and right visual field respectively and then we asked them to identify the objects that had been presented. So in terms of the bunny rabbit that is of course flashed to the right visual field which therefore meant it would be processed in the left verbal hemi they would of course be able to name the Easter Bunny. In terms of the pink car, that of course is being flashed to our left visual field, which would be processed in the right hemi, and therefore the split brain patient would not be able to name the object. They could of course draw it with their left hand or they could pick it up out of a bunch of objects hidden from view with their left hand. But why can't the split brain patient name the pink car? Well the right hemisphere can indeed recognise the object but due to the severing of the corpus callosum which acts as the major bridgeway for communication between the cerebral hemispheres that information can't be conveyed to the left hemisphere for verbalisation. Now due to the contralateral nature of the cerebral hemispheres, the right hemisphere does control the left hand so the person can actually draw it with their left hand and like I said before pick it up out of a bunch of objects hidden from view with their left hand. Now I want you to close your right eye. So it's important to note that when your right eye is closed not only can you see images on your left visual field but you can still see images on your right visual field, the bunny in this case. So it's important to note here that when the right eye is closed, the left eye not only processes images from the left visual field that will be processed in the right hemisphere, but it also processes images in the right visual field that will be processed in the left side of the retina and consequently the left verbal hemisphere. So when viewing images through the left eye, Anything that's on the right visual field will in fact be processed in the left verbal hemi and we will be able to name it.